my name is Kiana Shakira. if you're new to my channel make sure you go subscribe hit the notification bell like this video like all my videos all it period so today we're doing a Q&A we have Jerry Lane behind the camera I'm gonna make sure I put her name right here and I'm gonna also put it um the link to her channel in the description box so make sure you guys go check that out for me so today we're doing a Q&A. She came up with some questions that um, she want to ask me. So, you know, you guys can get to know me a little better. I know I haven't been doing videos lately, but I'm about to start back, period. So yeah, let's get into the video. I'm going to start by asking you, where did the name Kiana Shaquille come from? Um, it's my name. Like Kiana, um, my mama named me Kiana because my mama name is Kenya. And Kenya, when she was young, um, it was these little dolls and Kenya had a sister named Kiana. So she was like, <laughs> so she was like, when she get older, she's going to name her daughter Kiana. So she named me Kiana and Shaquille is my middle name. I got two middle names and Shaquille came from one of my aunties when my, um, <clears throat> my bad, when my mama and my aunties was younger, they was like, um, this is my mom's age. She was like, um, they all going to give, you know, each other children, they middle names and stuff. So I got one of my aunties. Well, I think two of my aunties middle names because I got two middle names. That's real cute. Real hot. She <laughs> yeah. Who is your favorite actor and what's your favorite movie and why? Oh, actor? Let me see. I don't think I really have a favorite actor because I like movies a, a, like a whole lot. And I can sit and just watch movies a lot all day, every day. So I'm not gonna say I really have a favorite actor. I like actress. I like a yeah, favorite actor or actress. I like a lot of actors actors and actresses or whatever. And as far as favorite movie, I don't have a favorite movie really because I can watch movies all day, every day. It's some movies I can watch over and over again or whatever. So yeah, I don't really have like a favorite favorite it had movie. To be any other race. Had to be any other race. What would it be and why? Um I don't, I don't think I, no. <laughs> it had to be. I don't think I would want to be any other race. Why would I want to be any other race when my race is the superior? When my race is beautiful. When my race is, you know, just that. Like, okay. I don't think I can see myself just saying, oh, yeah, I wish I was this other race. <clears throat> what would you consider your greatest weakness? Oh, my greatest <laughs> Oh, my greatest weakness. Okay. What would it be, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, what What could you consider to be something that, like, hinder me from, yeah, like, from doing what you need to do or something I like that? Say, um, sometimes I put stuff off a lot, but I feel like a lot of people put stuff off a lot or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I got, like, better with it. Or I got better with it. But, um... What else? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to just trying to think or something. <laughs> I don't Who's know your favorite artist, artist and why? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you already know. You already know. I already know. But um, I got a couple favorite artists. But I'm going to say forever and always, Kevin Gates going to be my favorite artist because Kevin Gates just, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like his music, most of his music or whatever, like I can understand it. And I just like the way it sounds and the stuff he be saying. But I listen to a lot of Dirk. I fucks with Dirk. Not fucks with. I, I miss with Dirk real hard. I like Dirk. Um, yeah, I listen to a lot of young boy, but everybody listen to get a lot of young boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, at what age do you think you'll purchase your first home? Or what Ooh. age would you want to purchase your first home? I'm not going to say it's a certain age I want to do it. I'm going to just say, like, whenever I get married and have kids and just get settled, um, that's probably when I'm going to start building my first home. Okay, so you want to build your first yeah, home? Yeah, I want to just build From the home. ground up. Yeah, <laughs> like it's mine. Okay. okay. What are 
are your pet peeves? Like stuff you stuff you just hate when people do. When people lie to me, because I'm a very understanding person, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm I'm not. So it's really no reason for you to lie to me. So I just I don't like that. I don't like that. And I also don't like when people tell me they're going to do something and they end up don't do it. Like, if you don't want to do it in the first place, you could have just said, yeah, I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> like, no. Mm -hmm. Um, I always say I got a pretty smile and pretty eyes. But I don't know. It took me a, I'm not going to say it took me a while to, like, Say, oh yeah, it is pretty or whatever, but I ain't just really just notice it, notice it or whatever. So you consider your eyes and your smile, you're like not with people with you. But yeah, I guess. <laughs> Who haven't you seen or talked to in a long time and you hope they're doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> um who who I haven't talked to a lot and I hope they're doing okay. Is it a boy? Should I say? Um, I is it a boy? Is it a girl? Is it an old friend? An old fling? <laughs> Forget all of them. Forget all of them. Not all of them, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Okay. Fear most when it comes to relationships. Um, I guess you can say, um. It being like, uh, like the whole thing being a lie, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like they feelings were not really being true. Like they just faking the whole thing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause with one of my, I'm not gonna say relationships or whatever, but one with one of the persons I used to talk to. Sometimes like I used to feel like, damn, like this shit. Like his feelings a lie. Like, <laughs> like do it really don't feel like yeah. that. Like he say he do. He's just acting, like yeah. acting, like acting the whole thing out, like, yeah. yeah. Like, what's your favorite, what's your favorite position, like something you own and why? My favorite, favorite position. Um, okay, can I say a couple? Yeah, you can say a couple. Okay, so one of it is my laptop mm -hmm. because I had to like, because I really worked really hard to get it and I had it for a while and I feel like, you know, once you get something you've been wanting for a while and it's like yours and nobody helped you get it, it's just like, damn, like, I really did that. And what else? <laughs> my car. My car. Because I'm very grateful to have a car and very grateful that, you know, I, I did it on my own. What is something that you regret? Mm, I would say I don't really regret anything because you shouldn't have regrets going through life because if i just sit, sitting here thinking like oh yeah i regret this i regret this i regret that i would just be in here feeling bad about you know the decisions i made the choices i chose to do oh, that's i said they're wrong but i they chose to do chose to make it yeah the um stuff i chose to do so i don't really regret anything everything i did i did it i did it for a reason i did it because i wanted to do it i mean it was but at that moment, it is what it is. <laughs> it's in the past, baby. Leave in the past. Okay. okay. How old were you when you had your first crush, and how was it? Girl, <laughs> back in my row. <laughs> in the day. Right. Girl, I don't even know my first crush. I guess you can say in elementary. Mm -hmm. You want to say in elementary, or do you want me to say like your first crush? First, first, like, yeah, your first crush you can remember. Yeah, I think I'm going to say elementary. And I'm not going to say the dude's name. <laughs> but, yeah, it was an elementary. And I guess it was a little, it was cool. It was cool because we ended up, like, dating or whatever. But we was young, so that's, like, <clears throat> that's how young stuff. Okay. Um, okay. What do you look for in a guy? What I look for? Yeah, like, what you, what you look for? Like, if a guy was to approach you... And he had to have everything you wanted in a guy. What would the stuff be? Um, I'm gonna say first is how he approached me, because you don't want a dude just coming up to you, talking to you any kind of way, and like trying to get your number any kind of way. You can't have my number if you got your homeboys coming to me asking for it. You can't no. And then what else? What else guys be going on like like how they approach me? 
Like, if you want, if you want my number, just say you want my number. Don't like beat around the bush. Don't be like, um, <laughs> you got a number. You got a phone. Duh, I got a phone. Duh, I got a number. Like, what's up? <laughs> but yeah, I look for the like how they how they approach me, like how they speak to me and stuff like that. Like, you're not just gonna be coming up to me, talking to me any kind of way. So yeah. If you had to marry the last person you kissed, would you? <laughs> um, even though, even though he get on my nerves, yeah, I would. I would. What was your worst job and why? My worst job? Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> let me think of it. Let me think of it. I, I, I'll say I'll say McDonald's A lot of people don't know that I used to work at McDonald's Frankie Monroe I'm gonna say that was my worst job Because I don't like I don't No, no, no No <laughs> <laughs> No, you think Peter Pan <laughs> Oh, no, I forgot about Peter Pan <laughs> Peter we I was so, in there I was yeah, like, nah yeah. like, I'm McDonald's Like, it was I didn't like McDonald's for the fact it was McDonald's, but me, Jerry, and Tyra used to work in Peter P when we first got down here. And it was so it was so bad. Like me, I don't I don't like working around. I'm not saying it's a dirty job, it's a dirty place. I'm not saying none of that. But you know, it's food. So of course it's gonna be like a little, you know, food here. The floor gonna be like a little slippery. And you know it's gonna be stuff like that. And me, I don't I don't like I don't like dirty dirtiness, so I didn't like PDP. I stayed there for like one day. <laughs> we worked there for like two one days. Day. I was there one day. I was like, yeah, this is the yeah, last, this last time. time. How quickly do you jump to conclusions? Okay, I used to jump to conclusions real fast because I just used to, you know, past relationships. It just make you think, oh yeah, this, he doing this, he doing it too. But now I try to be like. A little more understanding and let them, you know, explain themselves first before I just be like, oh yeah, he doing this. Sometimes I still do. Sometimes I still do, but I be working on it. I'm getting better. Okay. Who is the humblest person you know? Um, I'm gonna say my cousin Brittany Williams slash something. You already know she married, but um, I'll say that because. She like really good at a lot of stuff. She's pregnant right now. She got a baby on the way. And her and her husband. But I'm going to say because like she really good at a lot of stuff. And like a lot of great things be happening to her. And she's like really blessed. And she don't just be, you know, how other people throwing be. People throwing the people face. Oh, yeah. I got this. Oh, yeah. Me and my husband. Whoop, whoop. Nah, like she, she a really very humble person. And I really love her. So... Shout out to her. Which one is your BFF and why? And if you don't say me, I swear. Not just <laughs> <laughs> um, it's my BFF. Can it be a boy and a girl? Yeah, you can pick a boy and a girl. Okay, Meg the Stallion. Cause she, <laughs> who wouldn't want that to be? Right. I just love Meg, and I feel like Meg, Meg, and my friends, us all together, oh, we'll be lit. We'll be turned. <laughs> So I'm gonna say her and um if I was sh to choose a dude to be my BFF, a famous dude, who who would I choose? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just say me. Let's just say me. Okay. What was your most embarrassing moment? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, okay, can I say you want me to say like back in high school? It whatever happened. I'm gonna say back in high school because this is the only thing I can't remember. I had some, I had a couple more embarrassing moments or whatever, but this one. Okay, so in high school, uh, we used to be on the church team, right? And you, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like pet rallies and stuff, pet rallies and stuff Fridays on Fridays, and it's like in the gym with everybody, like the students, even people like. That don't even go to school there. Sometimes they'll come to the pair alley, teachers, all it, like everybody. And then <clears throat> in high school, I had a boyfriend. He was on the um 
football team. So he was there too. Like everybody just watching me. <laughs> so um we was cheering and stuff and we got it was time it was our time to perform. So we got on the floor to, you know, cheer. And me, I used to um be the one that used to toss up in the stunts and stuff. So this one time we went out there, we've been practicing on this stunt. It's like a basket toss. It's like they put me like this and they throw me up like that and got to catch me. But this one time we went out there to, you know, do the stunt that we've been practicing. Um, and they threw me up, y'all. They threw me up and they didn't catch me. Only one person caught me. Only one person. And if it wasn't for her, y'all, like, I probably would have been oh I probably would have been oh because, no. But, yeah, that was real embarrassing. Like, I was real mad. Back then, I, I, I didn't know how to control my anger. I was real mad. I was hurt. I was throwing middle fingers at people. Like, <laughs> don't talk to me. <laughs> but, yeah. Do you consider yourself to be good at most things you do? Of course, everything I do, I'm gonna do it great, and I'm gonna make sure I do it better than anybody. It's not saying it on no, you know, hateful stuff, but you know, you you gotta strive to be the best. And what's something you never been able to do well? You consider you can't do well. Mm, dance. <laughs> Girl, <shut up. laughs> yeah, I don't think I can dance. I can't dance. I can't. <laughs> I can do a little one two, you know, but as far as just dancing, I just never see myself dance. Something that you've tried that you will probably never try again. Um, <laughs> like as far as food anything or anything. anything. Give me a category. You don't want to. You can pick any category. Like <clears throat> something you tried before. It could be food. It can be somebody, something, something you did with somebody. It can be anything. Mm, I'm gonna just say food. I'm gonna say um, I tried sushi before and I don't try it again. Why? I ain't like it. Why you got beef with sushi? I don't got beef with sushi. I, it's just not for me. Sushi. Me personally, sushi is good. Some yeah. sushi. This is not your interview, baby. Some sushi is good though. No, Why are you lying when you when you went to that? Little it sushi? don't matter what I did when, when, when I went to that. When you went, it ain't got nothing to do with what I did when I went. To when you went to that sushi place with Dina and you said it was nasty, so what okay, you talking about? I'm talking about, you know that sushi you get from Walmart that be rolled up. I don't buy that because no. But I'm saying that sushi be good. That's not like a lot. Bitch, I never seen you. I never seen this girl buy no sushi from Walmart. They ain't gonna lie, she saw that sushi roll. Bitch, stop fucking lying. Bitch, you ain't about no sushi That's from Walmart. That's sushi from Walmart. Do be good. What you buy, bitch? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, could you stay in a relationship that the sex is bad? That the sex is bad? Could you stay in a relationship if the sex is bad? Um, yeah. Because sex is not the relationship. So, it's ways around it. Like, you can tell him, oh, yeah, do this. I like it like this. I like this. Let's do this. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to say that, you know, you it's ways around to make sex better, enjoyable for you. So, yeah, because, you know, sex not a relationship. All your family members, who are you closest to? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to say who I'm closest to, but I'll say who I talk to the most. I say I talk to my cousin, um, Brittany, the most, Tootie. I talk to her the most. But me and Hoppo, we like this, my cousin. Damn. Yeah, me and my cousin like that. And I love all my cousins. I love all my family members. So I think I'm mad now because you get a shout out. <laughs> uh-uh. little more too. See, it's just too many of them. It's too many of them. I, I love all of them. <laughs> Okay, who's the worst? Who's the worst guest you've had in your house and why? Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to say the worst guest, but I'll tell y'all about this one time. Um, We had like our homeboys over. And you know, it's just our homeboys. We think we've been a chill, you know, just cool and all that. And all of a sudden, he thinking a bitch in a bitch. <laughs> Oh no! I thought we just came to Coley. Like I'm not doing all that. Uh uh. 
But yeah, I just like it. You can't come back because I don't know what you thought this was. I don't know who you thought I was, but no. So yeah, I ain't really like that. What are some steps you take to pursue your goals? Like, what are steps you're taking right now to pursue things you want later on in life? Okay, so what I've been doing lately is um, writing it down. Because I feel like if you write it down, <clears throat> I feel like if you write it down, it'll just happen. Because if you just think about it, oh, yeah, I want to do this, I want to do this. Like, eventually, you're going to forget about it, and you're going to keep putting it off, putting it off. But if you write it down, you're constantly seeing it, and you just praying over it, praying over it and manifesting it, like, it'll it'll happen. you working towards it and all that. It'll happen. It has happened. A lot of stuff Mine, What would be your perfect date from start to finish? My perfect date? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if a dude asks me out, I feel like if a dude asks a girl out, you should you should already know where you want to take me the time and you should be like i'm gonna come pick you up that's just me that's 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 what i'm used to that's what i want so if you if you text text call my phone and be like oh yeah i want to take you out be like i'm gonna take you out here we're gonna get go this time make sure you're ready at this time and i'm gonna come pick you up so you come pick me up we go to the day you know it's fun and we'll do all it yeah, of course you just bring back home. I mean, I guess it's a perfect date. What? <laughs> yeah, what the? <laughs> That's not what did you just tell me, people? <laughs> I'm saying like, I thought you were gonna be like, yeah. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna okay, go okay, okay. So like, you just told me you want to pick you up, take you, bring you back. Because he got to um, he got to figure out where we gonna go. So I can't say. Oh yeah, I wanna go here. A I'm saying, day. what's your perfect day? Like, if if a dude was like, okay, boot about the boot, let's. Go. <laughs> <Those people are>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if a dude was like, let's go on a date, you plan everything, and you have to plan everything. Not for me to plan it. You plan Why everything. Why I gotta plan it? If you ask me. The question is not. This not real. The oh. question is, what is your perfect day? Okay, 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 okay. So my perfect day will be. Um, he still gotta come pick me up. <laughs> no. That boy gotta come get you. He still gotta come pick me up. I do not like driving. I just don't like driving. So yeah, he come pick me up. And it depends on if it's our first date. I'm gonna say it's our second date. So the first date gotta be like really anything, but I say probably eat because I like to eat. So our second date, it has to be like you know we can do some fun like bump it, guys. <laughs> Yeah, we gonna go to the next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just something real fun, something I never did before. Like, take me to a pottering class. That's right, potter class or something like that. Like, that's different. Like, something outside the box. Bitches don't be wanting to go out to eat into the movies all the time. It's more stuff to do. Last lie you told. <laughs> Girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> The last, the last live hope. I'm gonna be lying. Okay, the last live hope. Right <laughs> What's the Jerry L? Cause she asked me. <laughs> it was a Jerry L. Cause she asked me. It wasn't like nothing major, dog. I just was like, but she knew I was just playing about the question. I knew you was lying. I was like, you lying. She was like, did I ask some more questions to my list for the question, the Q&A thing? And I was like, yeah, but I was just playing. But yeah, that's it. Okay, what's your favorite color and what's your least favorite color? Mm, I like um, red and purple. And my least favorite color is... Mm, I don't really have a least favorite color because I like colors, so I'm not gonna say I have a least. <clears throat> What's the top three ways you deal with stress? <sighs> top three. I pray about it. Um, I talk to Jerry L about it, and <laughs> <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Okay, if you could travel back in time, what year would you go to and what would you do? Oh, um, if I can travel back in time, I'll go to... It's a place, it's, it's, it's a couple of years I want to go back to. We, we picking one. We not yeah. traveling. Uh, I don't know. I would, 
I'll travel. I'll just travel back just to see, you know, what it was like, like back back in the day and stuff, just to like see it. But I wouldn't just travel back to change stuff no more because I feel like if you change stuff, this you regretting stuff, and it's like you change that that you gonna change everything. You get what I'm saying? And I like you know how stuff going right now for me, not the stuff in the world, but you know. Last question. Okay, okay, I'm okay. Excited. Real hot. And the question is... Girl, bro, please. Girl, go! <laughs> okay. If you could have your dream job, wake up in the morning, be living a different life, have your dream job, all your goals set, everything you need, everything you planned out. Oh, no. What would your dream job be? Um... I'm going to say, like, my, our own business, like, because I don't really see myself just working for anybody, like, filling out applications for people and having to, you know, listen to this person telling me to do this and having a uh, manage somebody over, over me and stuff like, I don't, I don't like that stuff like that because I feel like people try to take advantage of you because they know how hard of a worker you are. And when you do stuff, when I do stuff, I have to do it a certain way and I want it to be done a certain way because I'm just not going to be doing stuff just to do it. And, you know, it's wrong. That's right. I said that right. How you understand it? But yeah, like I don't like stuff like this. So I'm gonna say like my own, my own, like that'll be my dream job, my own business, me taking the calls, me, people answering to me, but not like in a rude way, but you know, like me running stuff, like it's mine. Something I can say, yeah, I did that. That's my business. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> But she said that was the last question. So that is all for this video. Make sure you guys go subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to mine. Like this video. Comment below. Share with your friends. Share with your family. Tell everybody about it. Period. And <clears throat> comment below if you want us to do, you know, more videos. Just let us know what kind of videos you want to see. And 